All right, well, I got a question for you on this Monday morning. Is it appropriate for politicians, particularly the president, to swear during speeches? I want to know what you think, so go to our website, WTSP.com slash vote now and vote right now. I'm going to get those results to you in just a moment. But I bring this up because President Trump has been anything but conventional and politically correct since taking office, and he's become the first president to swear openly in public during speeches. It started during the campaign, and really it's continued for the last nine months. Now, most of the stuff that he says I can't say on TV for obvious reasons, but words like hell and other four-letter words frequently find their way into his speeches, sometimes extemporaneously, most recently when the president called out NFL players for kneeling during the national anthem. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a off the field right now, out, he's fired. I say extemporaneous because that was probably not in the teleprompter, but I'm not going to talk about the Access Hollywood video. We've all seen that. Or the president's tweets where he's used the F word and every other four-letter word you can think of. And I know that other presidents have been caught swearing, too, but typically they were saying something that was picked up by a hot microphone. Presidents Obama, Bush, and Clinton all have been caught by something like that. But get this. According to an Italian study, people like their politicians to swear more. They are more believable. But we've really never seen a president swear in public like President Trump. But potty mouth, as it turns out, and I use that word deliberately, is nothing new when it comes to the White House. I found a pretty good example from a man who was probably our most foul-mouthed president. I give you Lyndon B. Johnson, our 36th president, president in the 1960s. He was famous for how he dealt with people on his staff and in the press. He would really kind of get close to them like you see right there. He was six foot four, a hulking man. He'd get right in people's faces. This treatment was known as the Johnson treatment. Now, members of the press, even his own advisors had to deal with it all the time. And it was tough to get out of there because he was such a big guy. But how about this for potty mouth? That right there is a toilet. And President Lyndon Johnson was notorious for having reporters, aides, men, women into the bathroom with him where he would conduct, well, Two kinds of business at once, I'll say. I'm not kidding. You can Google this. He would legitimately go to the bathroom while holding meet meetings. He even peed into a sink once in front of a female reporter, and he had a phone installed next to the John in the White House bathroom not far from the Oval Office. Could you imagine the outrage if President Trump did anything like that? It'd be tough to imagine.